Hey everyone, it's Chan back with another video. I absolutely love creating YouTube videos. I love everything from coming up with video ideas, recording the videos, editing the videos, the whole nine yards of YouTube I absolutely love. I love the freedom of expression on here. The opportunities are endless on what you can create. But sometimes for me, it's not necessarily about what I'm creating, but it's about what I'm talking about. These sit-down videos don't usually do that well on YouTube. I always promise myself to not care about the views, just care about my intentions. Every single one of my videos have a purpose. Whether if it's a reacting video, I'm trying to make you laugh. If it's an advice video, I'm trying to help you out. But when it's videos like this, where I just talk about everything going on in my life and how I'm feeling, I make these videos for two reasons. The main reason is because it's very therapeutic to me. I can just talk and get everything out, look back on it, and reflect. Also, because I know I'm not the only one who feels this way, not only do I get to talk about everything that's on my mind and that's weighing on me, I know that what I say can help somebody else too. This video is going to seem like a big rant and a big jumbled mess because it is, but that's how my mind is right now. I talked about some of the stuff in my video in which I talked about moving back to Ohio. Not much has changed since I made that video. I'm still equally as stressed. I'm still equally as sad. And I'm still equally as overwhelmed. Change is very scary to me. And I know I tried to embrace change throughout this year and I have been, but I think I went too far too quick. I was so obsessed with the idea of changing and becoming somebody new, starting a new life, that I kind of rushed into it. And now I'm back in Ohio starting over again. There's just been a lot of changes going on in my life lately and it's been really stressful. And right now it doesn't seem like it's gonna get me anywhere. I feel very stuck. Having to find a new job, having to find another place to live a couple months from now, living away from Isaiah, I'm not where I want to be. So I am just feeling stuck. And I've been thinking about this a lot lately, about how stuck I have been feeling and what I can do to change that. Cause I hate feeling sad and I wholeheartedly believe that every struggle is meant to build you, not break you. So lately I've been taking a lot of time to myself and reflecting on how I can grow from this instead of letting it break me down. And something that I learned that I wanted to share with you guys is patience. I do not have much patience at all, but I know how important it is after doing some self-reflection. Patience really is a virtue. Where you are right now may not be where you wanna be, but you have to start somewhere. You can't just start out where you wanna be. You have to work towards it, and you have to be patient, and you just have to trust the process. Believe in yourself, and believe that you can get there. It took me so long to realize this, and I've been feeling so upset lately because I didn't realize this sooner. Where I'm at right now is not where I wanna be. I would like to be in a house with Isaiah. I'd like to have a job that I'm already comfortable in and that I know what I'm doing. I would just like to be comfortable again. Am I comfortable right now? No, but that's okay. Outside of your comfort zone is where you learn and grow the most. I have been growing so much as a person and mentally too, throughout all these struggles I've been dealing with. You have to be patient and you have to trust the process and you have to believe in yourself. Where you are right now may not be where you wanna be, but sometimes you have to go through things and do things that you don't wanna do, things that you don't wanna go through in order to be where you wanna be and in order to experience the things that you want to experience. That's a very important message that I learned that I wanted to share with you guys. Beyond that though, and beyond my personal issues within my life, I wanna talk about YouTube for a little bit. I've been making YouTube videos for about eight years now. I've only been on this channel for a little bit over two years now, but I've been making videos for the past eight years in total. I had an old gaming channel that I first started on that's created a Daughtry channel where I posted lyric videos and Daughtry songs. Then I made my old YouTube channel that I made a couple years ago, and now I'm here on this one. This is my fourth YouTube channel that I've had over the course of the last eight years. This YouTube channel is what I'm most proud of in my life right now. I'm not talking about my relationship because I'm really proud of myself and Isaiah and how far we've come in general. I mean, when it comes to like my personal hobbies and myself personally, YouTube is what I'm most proud of. I'm coming up at 600 subscribers and I try not to let the numbers really affect me, but they do, but in a positive way. I don't look at it and say, oh my God, I only have 600 subscribers. I wish I had more. Yeah, I do wish I had more, but I don't let it control my whole life. I see it as I'm so close to 600 subscribers, next is 700, next is 800, and so on. Those numbers do matter because the more people that have subscribed to me, the more people that I can help, and the more people that I hopefully can inspire. YouTubers are called influencers for a reason, and I feel like a lot of YouTubers sometimes drift away from that. They're just so caught up in either the money, the fame, the numbers, whatever it is. But since I'm a small YouTube channel, I'm not involved in any of that yet. So I can really just do whatever I wanna do. And my intentions on this channel are very genuine at this moment. And I hope they stay that way. Ever since I made this YouTube channel, I wanted to do nothing more than to just create videos, talk about anything I wanted to talk about, help people, influence others, and just give people advice. And hopefully I can help people from my own experiences so that we didn't make the same mistakes I made. I just want to help people. Sometimes I do wish I have more subscribers. I don't let it control my daily life. 
I just wish I had more so that way I can help more people. Sometimes I put so much time and effort into my videos that I don't feel like it's really worth it. You guys don't see everything I had to go through. You don't see my hours of editing, my hours of recording, coming up with the video ideas, being stressed out when I can't come up with an idea, and putting all this time and effort into a video that I'm proud of but that other people don't necessarily like. That can be hard to understand if you aren't a YouTuber or any kind of creator of any kind. But when you put it all into something just for it to not get as good of an outcome as you wished it would have, it does kind of take a toll on you. However, I don't let that stop me. My whole point in this rant about YouTube isn't to seem ungrateful. This just ties into the whole patience thing that I talked about earlier. Right now, I'm not where I want to be on YouTube. I want to help a lot more people. But instead of focusing on where you want to be, focus on where you are now. I would love to have millions of people watch my videos so I can get my message out to millions of people. Roughly 30 to 100 people watch my videos. That's 30 to 100 people who are listening to me, who care about what I have to say, and who are hearing my message. Try not to focus so much on where you wanna be, but focus on where you are now. What you're doing now is gonna dictate how far you go in your future. I know it's hard because you wanna do something great or you wanna be somebody great. Use the time that you have now and the moment that you're currently in to better yourself. Maybe you're feeling stuck in this position for a reason. Maybe it's just not your time to blossom out because you still have so much more to learn before you can reach that point. And I really feel like that hits home with me on YouTube. I feel like there's so much more about YouTube that I have to learn and so much more about myself that I have to learn before I can grow and expand my audience. I want to help all these people, but maybe I need to help myself first before I can help anybody else. So my whole point in this entire video and me ranting about my life and how I feel about YouTube is to just tell you guys to be patient and to keep being persistent. Hard work doesn't just pay off overnight. It takes a lot of time. And sometimes you're going to feel like that what you're doing is getting you nowhere. But even the smallest of movements forward is still moving forward as long as you're not moving backwards i say that that's all that matters and even if you do have a setback that pushes you backwards to come back twice as strong i just want you guys to understand that everybody goes through these hard times and everybody feels stuck in their situation what if it's their home life or at work everybody feels stuck but it's only up to you to change that before you jump the gun and try to change those things take some time to reflect and ask yourself if you're stuck in a situation for a reason and what that reason is Everything happens for a reason, and you are where you are for a reason. It's only up to you to change that. Don't let yourself sit around all day being upset because you feel like you can't change it. You can, and you're the only one who can change it. Nobody's going to do that for you. As I said, my whole point in this entire video is to just tell you guys to be patient, work hard, and trust the process. I'm not okay, but that's okay. Eventually, I will be, and I'm taking everything in now that's happening to me so that I can learn from it and I can grow from it. There's always a positive in every single negative. And I feel like that's something that's really important that everybody needs to know. Just because you're going through a hard time, it doesn't mean it's gonna be the end. This is cheesy, but you can't have a rainbow without a little bit of rain. I hope this video helps somebody else out there. And I hope you guys kind of understand where I was coming from. I know this video is kind of all over the place. I hope you guys understand my message that I'm trying to get across. I feel like it's a very important message and I just want everybody to understand as long as you're trying your best, that's all you can ever do. With all that being said, leave a like on this video if you did enjoy it. Share with your friends if you want to or if you know anybody who needs to hear this message and definitely share this video with them as well. Also subscribe if you are new. Tap the bell to be notified whenever I post. Post at least one video a week. So if you tap that bell and you won't miss out on a single video. Be sure to follow me on all my social medias. The links will be in the description box down below and at the end screen of this video. Thank you so much for watching and thank you so much for your support. See you guys in the next video.